Okay, this is regarding a HP LaserJet M2727 uh, NF. I believe that's what it is. You can't really see it too well. So there's what it looks like. There's another video, a uh, good, good video on this. Um, it's where the main circuit board has a problem. And I went ahead and ordered a new one. HP gave me a pretty good deal on a new one that's got wireless and a bunch of stuff. This thing's actually from 2008. Uh, it was used in a small business and used quite a lot, got a lot of use out of it. So can't really complain too much if it's got some problems. Uh, but I thought I'd just put in a short video on my experience with fixing this uh, error. Okay, the error on mine would be same as what you see a lot of people online talking about with this and here's the board um, sorry I can't remember the name of it it's like the main circuit board um, the screen would go blank on the front or also the uh, exclamation light would just light up yellow um, usually after I rebooted it it would work fine and there was a big cat inside of my so obviously that's a big problem. <laughs> so if you have a large cat inside of your uh, machine, that would definitely cause a problem. No, the cat was not inside the machine, so don't post any comments about animal cruelty. Um, so anyway, it would lock up. Uh, sometimes it would kind of initialize. You get like the three errors, and it would just sit there. Sometimes the screen would go blank. Now usually if I turn it off for a minute or two, uh, reboot it. Also I did the hard reset on the settings and then there's a way to reboot it. I can't remember. It's like you press cancel or set up and the right arrow, something like that to do another, to do a basically a full factory reset. Now be careful. That's going to erase. If you got anything programmed in there, that's going to erase everything in there. If you've got pre settings or fax numbers or something like that. So be careful on that. Um, so on the other video, a couple notes is the guy turned his uh, unit sideways like this. I wouldn't recommend that. And actually, after watching that video again, he said that he had a scanner error after that. And it's possible that the scanner slid all the way down or something like that. I don't know exactly how this scanner, if that scanner has a, a tray in there or it scans across a roller here. But that, I don't know, maybe not do that. Um... The other thing is he baked this with this side up, thinking that the solder would get in there, when I think actually the so all the solder between these connections is on the other side. So I think I'm going to bake it with the other side up. Again, I bought another one from Hewlett Packard uh, directly. They gave me a good deal on it. They shipped it to me for free. It was here two days later. I was really happy with their service. I mean, it was a few bucks cheaper probably than what I could have got it at a local store here. But... Um, Main thing is they shipped it free, um, and they also gave me a packing slip. If I wanted to ship this one back for recycling, I can. If I can get this thing working, uh, I'll probably just sell it for a few bucks. Um, now, I'll disclose to somebody it's got problems, but again, for light home use, it's still a, a good unit. It works fine. It'd be a little problematic in a business to have to turn it off and on all the time. So I'm going to remove this. Uh, you got to remove these items here these uh, wire connectors so gently pull those all and then there's uh, six screws and we're time to bake it for 350 degrees at eight minutes they said also to make sure I'm again just my opinion it's just my opinion if you're don't don't take my advice on this uh, call a factory service technician if you want to worry about it or, or send it back to Hill Packer or whatever get a new one um because again if this thing totally craps out i don't care i'll just ship it back to hp with the free shipping they gave me um have the oven totally preheated if you stick it in there and turn the oven on i just know from cooking that's not the same as 350 that means the gas or the, the elements running and it's much hotter than that during the heat up phase so let it fully preheat for 15 20 minutes or whatever it takes also, too, what I'm going to do is when I turn the oven off after eight minutes, I'm just going to take a towel and kind of fan the heat out of it, leave the oven door open, and just let it cool in there rather than move it around. Uh, but let it cool for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes sitting inside the oven. 
Then I'm going to use it here for some copies, printing, stuff like that for two or three days, and I'll check back with you. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Um, I need to get a regular camera. You can't even see anything. Um, on this, I, I took it loose from this. So first off, I rolled a, rolled a towel or something else underneath there and, you know, lift get the thing lifted up off the ground. Put it back a little bit. You don't want it sitting on this edge, obviously. You want this edge free. So what I did here is I had a uh, had what's called a trim tool from an auto thing. I can't find it. So trim tool would actually be perfect. So you want to just gently pry. I pried right in this area here. Got this to come out a little bit. And then you pull it out. You pull it out like that. And then I just used a screwdriver here. Don't do it on the front side because those pieces are loose, so you can't get any leverage. You're just moving other parts around. So you need to do it on this side. And you can see this is all hard right there. So um, so I just kind of pried this, pried this back a little bit and then got my fingers in there and then just pulled this, this edge out like that. And then it worked. It, the whole thing, just this side just popped out. So... That's the way to get it loose. So this one, uh, again, just gently pull it. I think if you hold the, the wires there and just pull it, it'll come out. You may have to put your finger on the board. Use one hand just to hold it down a little bit. These ribbons just slide right out. This one came out. Ribbon slides right up. Seems to be a little tougher. There, it came right up. So again, just I just hold it near the wires and kind of jiggle it and pull it. So these got to come out down here. Come out pretty easy. So that one has a little thing there. You get a little tab. You can put your finger down and push that one out. Some ribbon should come out. back to what I did, which was just pull them out from the bottom. That ribbon slides right out, and I think that's got them all. Here, 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 here. And here's the screws. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, a couple things. Uh, board's back in place. Got all the little connectors back in. Um, make sure they're all visible before you put the board back on. I had one that was tucked up under here, so I had to kind of fish it out. At first, I was like, uh-oh, couldn't find it. Uh, the other thing is you can buy these boards online. Um, maybe just buy a whole new board if you want to keep the printer. So you, know, you can look into that. Um, okay. Again, I baked the board, 350 oven was fully preheated. I made a couple little pieces of aluminum foil. Note this side was the side that is down. Um, I made a couple piece of little piece of aluminum foil, like the size of grapes, just sat this thing on the corners. Again, I have no idea if this works or not. Well, you're, we're going to see here in a few minutes. Um, then at, after about, uh, I left it in for nine minutes at 350. Um, after nine minutes, I opened the, the door, kind of fanned the heat out. I actually had a little fan put in front of there, just to let it blow the hot air out and cool. Left the door wide open. I ended up doing something else, let it sit there for 30 minutes. So when you reconnect these, let's see here. You've got one, two, let me start again. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I would count them as you're disconnecting them and count them when you reconnect them to make sure you have them all. I'm going to put the side panel back on because basically if this doesn't work again, I'm going to ship it back to HP or just donate it or uh, I'll, I'll either donate it, sell it for a few bucks or sell it back or ship it back to HP if it doesn't work. So I'm going to put the panel back on. Okay, so here's the test. Also, real quick, this button, I don't use this thing a lot, so this thing was really sticking. It's working good now. But it was really sticking, so I sprayed some uh, contact cleaner on it. It's, it's got a little bit of lubricant cleaning to it. I didn't want to spray WD-40 or anything in there. I guess you could if you were careful. If you open it up and spritz some in there. So anyway. <clears throat> Alright, got it hooked up. And let's see what happens. real time. Ooh. Hang on a second. God, I need a real camera instead of using my phone. Okay, it says ready auto. Notice, uh, number of times when mine would go bad this this light would come on or this would say something else Sam or something I don't know it would say something else so it's on ready auto uh, let me try and make some copies now nah, it's gonna be a couple days before I put the final video on to say that it actually works Let's make uh, five copies All right, well, it looks like that it's working at least for now. Okay, here's the final video regarding the uh, HP LaserJet M2727NF. N as in Nancy, F as in Frank. Uh, it's working fine. It's been probably at least 10 days. I make a copy here or there just as a test. Again, I don't really use this thing that much. But at least now I can keep it as a backup or sell it to someone that could use it for uh, for a low price and they get a good unit uh, that's fully functioning so make five copies of something um, yeah the the uh, light here is never turned off never had any error messages never had to reboot it I check it every you know, two or three days and make a couple copies and um, seems like it's uh, seems like it's cured at this point previously again that it would turn off every two or three days and if not every day uh, that it would just the screen would just go blank and again you would turn it on and off and it would uh, it'd be okay so that's the end of the series regarding this printer thank you